Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at DriveWorks Express and I'm going to show you how you can fully automate the creation of your part files, assembly files, and drawing files. Now this is just part one of a multi-part series and in this one I'm going to be showing how to capture the assembly structure in DriveWorks Express. Now, let's presume I work for a shock manufacturer and we take orders all day. The orders can vary from shock travel, shock diameter, damping, and other features. Now, even though that's just a few different things, when you add them all up, that's almost infinite possibilities. Now, rather than having somebody sit there all day redesigning them, a much better method is just to simply automate them. And the best part is, DriveWorks Express is included in all levels of SOLIDWORKS, so if you have SOLIDWORKS, you have this automation tool. So before we begin, let's take a step back and let me just show you how I created this model so we all kind of know where we're coming from. It's a pretty simple model and it consists of a shock body, which is really just some revolves and extrudes, and a hole right here for the reservoir. We have the piston assembly. And that really is just, once again, a rod, a piston, a couple shims, and a nut that holds it all together. And then lastly, the reservoir, which is just a single part file for simplicity. Now, what I want to do is be able to completely automate this. As I said, DriveWorks Express is the right tool. Now, that's found in the Evaluate tab of your Command Manager, kind of in the far right end of it. So I'll activate that tool. And when I first start it, it prompts me to create a database. Now, this is my project database, essentially. So I'll click Next. Now I need to save this in my Documents uh, folder is just fine. We'll call it Shock. Now, the next step is to add the models I want to drive to this. So I'll add the models, and the easiest way is just to use the current open model. I can certainly also browse for a model if we didn't have one open. Now, here's where we get to capturing the model, and this is where you really need to take a step back and think about what is being modified in my model. Because really, you only need to capture the parts that are actually changing or that you want to drive off of your form design. So, what do we want to change? We want to change the travel. Now, if we change the travel, uh, the shock body needs to become longer as well as the rod need, needs to become longer. So, we'll check the body as well as the rod because those will need to change if we modify that. What we also want to be able to do is change the damping of this shock. Now, there's a few different ways to do this in real life, either by the shims or by the piston design. For this application, let's say we're going to modify the piston to change the damping. So the piston is going to need to change, so we'll check on the piston. What we also want to do is choose whether there is a reservoir or not. Now, if there's no reservoir, we don't want a hole in that body because the oil will just leak out. So if there's no reservoir, we want to have that hole suppressed. Now, that means we need to change the body. That's already checked, so we're okay. The other thing we want to change is the diameter. The diameter will affect both the body diameter as well as the piston diameter. Both of those are checked, so we're okay there. The last thing we want to modify is the size of the reservoir. So that's going to equate to the length of the reservoir in this case. So I'll check on the reservoir. Now what we're not modifying is the shim as well as the nut. Those are sort of library or off-the-shelf components, so we'll just leave those. So now that we have all these checked, this is what is going to change in our DriveWorks model. And now we can move forward in actually capturing these models, which will be in the next video. So in this video, we covered how to capture your DriveWorks assembly structure.